What keeps us on our toes? Let's us make that incredible shot and gives us the energy to get in the game. Food. We need to eat the right foods every day in order to get the energy we need to keep us going. The United States Department of Agriculture has developed new food guide pyramids to help each one of us find the right nutritional information depending on our age, gender, and physical activity. You'll soon find out that one guide doesn't fit all. In fact, there's a special food guide pyramid designed just for you. Every day we make choices. Choices about what we wear, what we say, and what we eat. And making the right choices is important for our survival. Eating foods that don't pack the right nutritional punch makes you feel tired and sluggish. But if we eat foods that have the right balance of nutrients, like proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, then we get the right amount of energy to stay active and alert. And to help us figure out what to eat, we have the food guides established by our friends at the USDA. Once upon a time, the guide looked like this. Pretty basic, since at that time there were only four food groups. Then nutritionists and researchers at the USDA came up with a food guide pyramid. They created more food group divisions and you could tell how much you could eat from any group depending on where it was found on the pyramid. See? Grains were the biggest portion of the foods eaten every day since they were at the bottom, the largest part of the food guide pyramid. But now, we have exciting, brand new food guide pyramids called the My Pyramid Plan to help us make healthy choices. These pyramids are so much better than any of the previous guidelines because of two important factors. First, they are designed for the different needs of each individual. You get your own personal food guide pyramid depending on your needs. That's cool! And secondly, it includes exercise, which the other previous guides didn't have. Let's take a closer look at the My Pyramid plan. The first thing you probably noticed was the colored bands. Each of the colored bands represents a food group. Orange. Grains. The orange band represents grains, any food made from wheat, rice, oats, cornmeal, barley, or another cereal grain is a grain product. Bread, pasta, oatmeal, breakfast cereals, tortillas, and grits are examples of grain products. Grains are divided into two subgroups, whole grains and refined grains. Whole grains contain the entire grain kernel the bran, germ, and endosperm. Some examples include whole wheat flour, oatmeal, and brown rice. Refined grains have been milled, a process that removes the bran and germ. This is done to give grains a finer texture and improve their shelf life, but it also removes beneficial fiber, iron, and many B vitamins. Some examples of refined grain products are white flour, white bread, and white rice. Most refined grains are enriched. This means certain B vitamins and iron are added back after processing, but fiber is not. So it's definitely better to eat whole grains to make sure you're getting all the right nutrients. Green. Vegetables. The green band is for vegetables. Any vegetable or 100% vegetable juice counts as a member of the vegetable group. Vegetables may be raw or cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, or dried or dehydrated, and may be whole, cut up, or mashed. Vegetables are organized into five subgroups based on their nutrient content. Here they are with examples. Dark green, broccoli and spinach. Orange, carrots and sweet potatoes. Dry beans and peas, black-eyed peas and pinto beans. Starchy, corn and potatoes. Other, 
tomatoes and onions. Red, fruits. The red band is for fruits. Any fruit or 100% fruit juice counts as part of the fruit group. Fruits may be fresh, canned, frozen, or dried, and may be whole, cut up, or pureed. Some commonly eaten fruits are apples, berries, oranges, and melons. Yellow, oils. The yellow band represents oils. This band is the smallest one in the My Pyramid plan. Oils are basically fats that are liquid at room temperature, like the vegetable oils used in cooking. Too much oil means too much fat in your diet. Oils come from many different plants and from fish. Some common oils are corn oil, olive oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil. Solid fats are fats that are solid at room temperature, like butter. You should limit all solid fats and use fish, nuts, or vegetable oils as better choices for fats in your diet. Blue, milk. The blue band is for milk. All fluid milk products and many foods made from milk are considered part of this food group. Foods made from milk that keep their calcium content are part of the group. But you won't find foods made from milk that have little or no calcium, such as cream cheese and butter. Some commonly eaten choices are skim milk, low-fat yogurt, and cheddar cheese. Keep in mind that most milk group choices should be fat-free or low-fat. Purple, meat and beans. The purple band is for meats and beans. All foods made from meat, poultry, fish, dry beans or peas, eggs, nuts, and seeds are considered part of this group. You probably notice that beans and peas are also found in the vegetable group. Then why are they in the meat group? Because beans and peas have great protein content. Most meat and poultry choices should be lean or low fat. Fish, nuts, and seeds contain healthy oils, so choose these foods frequently instead of meat or poultry. Now that we've seen what all the colors mean, let's check out this part of the pyramid. See the person walking up the steps along the side of the pyramid? Well, that reminds us that we need physical activity as well as good nutrition in order to be healthy. Physical activity simply means movement of the body that uses energy. Walking, running, jumping, these are all good examples of physical activity. To benefit your health, the activity you choose should be moderate or vigorous and add up to at least 30 minutes a day. Some examples of moderate physical activities include dancing and bicycling. More intense physical activities include swimming, freestyle laps, aerobics, and lacrosse. To find the food guide pyramid that's right for you, you have to enter some information on a special website at mypyramid.gov. Let's do an example. Zara is an active 14-year-old. She usually puts in between 30 and 45 minutes of physical activity into her day. We have all the information we need to find Zara's food guide pyramid. First, we'll go to the website. Then enter Zara's age and gender and how much activity she does on a daily basis. 30 to 60 minutes. Click here and, ta-da! Here's the pyramid plan that's right for her. It says she needs six ounces of grains, two and a half cups of vegetables, two cups of fruit, three cups of milk, and five and a half ounces of meat and beans every day. She can click on tips to find out more about each group. She can also print out the results for a quick reference. Keep in mind that the recommendations in My Pyramid are for people over two years of age, but they're not to be used if you have an ongoing health condition like diabetes. You should talk to your doctor who can determine what dietary plan is right for you. In Zara's case, all she has to do is follow the guidelines in the new food guide pyramid and it'll be the right start to a healthy life. Here are some action steps you can take to become a healthier you. Action step number one, make half your grains whole. That means you should try to eat more whole grains instead of enriched grain products. You can tell if you're getting whole grains just by reading the nutritional labels on the foods you buy. Action step number two, vary your veggies. Because each vegetable contains its own vitamins and minerals, 
you should always try to eat a variety of vegetables to make sure you're getting the right nutrients. Try all the colors. Orange carrots, green leafy lettuce, purple eggplants, red tomatoes. There are so many veggie choices you can put a rainbow on your plate. Action step number three. Focus on fruit. When you want a snack, fruit makes a great choice. It's easy to pack when you're on the go, and it's got great nutritional content. Most fruits are naturally low in fat, sodium, and calories, so fruits are the way to go. Action step number four. Get your calcium-rich foods. Make sure to get in some calcium throughout the day. Drinking milk is a great choice, but there are plenty of other ways to get the calcium you need for healthy bones. Try using yogurt as a dip for fruits or vegetables, or add some cheese to your favorite sandwich. And if you have milk allergies, there are calcium-fortified foods and soy products that can take the place of milk products. Action step number five. Go lean with protein. If you're going to eat meat, choose lean cuts of meat. When you cook meat, chicken, or fish, try broiling, grilling, or roasting instead of frying. And remember that nuts can be a great source of protein, too. Action step number six. Find your balance between food and physical activity. Make physical activity a regular part of the day. Choose activities that you enjoy and can do regularly. Fitting activity into a daily routine can be easy. You probably already do a lot of things that keep you active, like walking to school or inline skating at the park. If you're having a tough time staying active, try to reach a 30-minute goal for the day. That might include walking the dog for 10 minutes, doing some yard work for 10 minutes, and playing basketball for 10 minutes. Now it's time to give the new Food Guide Pyramid a try. Check it out and see which pyramid is right for you. Remember, be active, eat right, follow the new Food Guide Pyramid, and there's nothing you won't be able to do.